The story of how Automated Logic was added as a preferred control vendor on the Cornell University campus dates back to the development of the BACnet protocol standard by ASHRAE. One of our senior staff members, Michael Newman, was a leader of that development effort within ASHRAE. And when we were looking for a new control vendor for the campus for our science and technology building for nanotechnology, Duffield Hall, Automated Logic had redesigned their product line to be native BACnet. In Duffield Hall, we were able to provide significant enhancement to the building control systems with the help of Automated Logic and the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. So the purpose for this project in the biotechnology laboratory spaces was to make the rooms more adaptive to the use going on in those spaces. Biotech was the largest ALC job that we've done to date. We took an existing large facility with a great deal of fume hood labs and retrofitted it with DDC and also built in some intelligence as far as occupancy and ventilation rate changes based on occupancy. As part of the project, we changed all of the individual fume hood controls and uh, connected them up to the automated logic control systems. The result was we were able to lower the air changes in the room when people leave to four air changes and when they're in the room to a minimum of eight air changes and that resulted in a 30 to 40 percent reduction in air in the rooms and on an annual basis a big energy savings in the labs. The biotechnology building is probably one of the most energy intensive buildings on campus. When we put the project together initially we were making some estimates of our uh, projected energy savings. This was to show that the project was a financially feasible project for the university. Our prediction at the time was we'd be saving about 30 percent in energy use on an annual basis by installing ALC controls and by making some other energy conservation measure improvements. And we've actually uh, tracked it quite closely. We're finding that we're very close to the 27, 28 percent range. We're still fine-tuning the system. So my guess is that probably within a year, we'll probably exceed the 30 percent savings that we had estimated. The tools offered by Automated Logic's web control were perfect for being able to uh, have that data, long-term data storage, so that we could track the energy consumption as well as the payback. We set up boilerplate lab trends that showed everything a controls technician would want to see at a glance to be able to, to see if this lab is working as we envisioned. The Automated Logic web control software allows us to do a higher level of sophistication in programming and at the same time have much easier use. The graphic display of the control logic, the ease of creating and displaying trends, and doing analysis from that trended data allows us to verify the performance of all the control algorithms that we put into a building. What we're all about in the controls group is creating an environment that's conducive to learning, research, and education. People can't do that unless they're comfortable, but the point is to do it in a very efficient way with rising energy costs. It's very exciting. And uh, web control gives us a lot of the tools to do that. Automated Logic does a really good job of making this pretty user friendly. We've had huge success and ease of use from all the techs in the field. Automated Logic has just fit very well into our existing controls infrastructure here at the university as far as the back net reporting to our 24 hour alarm recipient center. The university has a very large life science initiative that will result in multiple hundreds of millions of dollars of new science and technology buildings. Many of those buildings have laboratory spaces that will be very energy intensive. We want to use the best control systems possible to minimize the energy use in those facilities.